Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm cleaning, prepping, and decorating to turn my bathroom into a spa oasis fall style. Now I know I've shared videos on my channel before about how to turn your bathroom into a spa oasis because a lot of us don't get a chance to go to an actual spa. I actually rarely go to an actual spa, but this is something I've enjoyed doing from a really young age and I still like doing it. And I used to turn my parents' bathroom into a spa and I do it with everywhere I've ever lived. And then I like to have that just like self time me time after my kids go to sleep. So the first thing I try to do in any room that I want to feel relaxed in is to declutter. Now this is an example of what my bathroom can and does look like. Often, I actually had to do laundry and somebody was looking for something in the laundry. So there was like half the laundry hanging out. There's usually a diaper somewhere around there, some random toys, kid shoes. My kids take baths in my bathroom. It's not always so clean and perfect and it doesn't always look like a spa. So if I know I want to have some me time at night, I'm going to try to prep in the day, which means I'm going to start by decluttering. That goes for any room that I want to relax in. Now the shower, it gets cluttered with, you know, drugstore shampoo and conditioners and things that I need to get rid of, toys because my son likes to take showers in my shower. And honestly, that's part of my daily reality. Um, you know, drugstore shampoo and conditioners do exist in my bathroom. Even though I like natural and I like to DIY them and stuff, I do have, you know, drugstore and there's often clothes and toys all over my bathroom. And if I know I want to make my bathroom look and feel like a spa and I want to have that me time and kind of pretend I'm at a spa, I'm going to start by decluttering and then I'll usually do a deep clean because even when I am at an actual spa, nothing bothers me more than being at a spa that feels dirty. You definitely want it to feel nice and clean. So if I'm going to take a bath, I'm going to clean my bathtub. I don't like to get into a bath that feels like it's not really clean. So I'll clean the outside. It gets kind of dusty. I'll clean the floors with my steam mop. I still use my steam mop in my bathroom. Uh, in both my bathrooms, but I don't use it on my tile hard. It, the floors look like hardwood, but they're actually tile. It leaves streaks, so I still use it in my bathroom, but not on my regular floors. So keeping the bathtub nice and clean is a great way for me to feel really relaxed when I'm taking a bath. And for this night, I knew I was interested in taking just a really hot shower once the kids went to sleep, and I was gonna put some candles in the shower and just relax and then drink a cup of tea and watch a movie. It wasn't gonna be anything crazy, but I decided to deep clean the shower. I just used a little bit of baking soda and some soap mixed together, and I like to do a nice good scrub in the shower just to make sure it's all clean. And sometimes you have like leftover residue from shampoo and conditioner that's spilled, or you know, sometimes the shower just needs a clean in general anyway. So if you wanna do a shower or you wanna do a nice long soak in the bath, it's always a good idea to give it a clean, a nice deep clean before you have your spa night. I do like to decorate in my bathroom. On the bathtub itself, I have the tub tray that I made I think a year ago or so on my channel. And I usually have some lavender in there, but I'm just gonna switch it up a little bit so it feels a little bit more fall. And I usually have a selection of bath bombs to choose from. These ones we carry in my boutique, Pacific Time, and they're fall scents. And we got all of our fall goodness into the shop. So I just keep that, also the candle as well. It's like the wood wick crackling candles that I love. And this one's pumpkin spice scented. So I just decorate a little bit. No matter what the size of your bathroom, adding live plants to your bathroom is going to make it feel so much more relaxing. And I wanted to add one into the shower. So I hung up a plant in the shower. I already have some over my bathtub. I love live plants. And then keeping it really simple. I showed this in a past video. You can find these on Amazon. And if you just put your shampoo and conditioner in these containers and just keep it really simple, that's a little scrubber for my face. And you keep it really minimal. It's gonna make it so that it's a lot more of a relaxing environment. And so even if you just wanna do a self-care day or even if you just like want some romantic time in the bathroom with your partner, it's always nice to just make it feel simple and relaxing. And then 
as it gets closer to my kids going to sleep and it's getting closer to me time, I like to light the candles and get everything ready. And then I put smaller tea light candles in my shower. Now, if there's like a little ledge or an area that you can put uh, tea lights, a plant and tea lights, just those few things, plus keeping it really simple, is going to take your shower to the next level. My husband was like, oh my gosh, this feels really relaxing in here. <laughs> I'm like, isn't it great? So yeah, just those few changes takes it from your everyday I'm a parent, my life is crazy, I have a million responsibilities, so much on my plate, plus this shower is really cluttered, to, ah, actually, this feels really good. So the entire bathroom smelled absolutely divine because of the pumpkin spice candle, but if you're more of a diffuser type of person, I also like a blend for the fall. Orange, clove, cinnamon, and vanilla are a really good combination, and it's also gonna make your entire bathroom smell so delicious and also get you in that cozy fall spirit, so perfect for chilly fall nights. Once the bathroom is decluttered and cleaned and it feels like a spa, you just want to add those finishing touches, which is what I do. I lay out some fresh towels, maybe a fresh robe, and get everything ready so that when I am done with the hustle and bustle of the day and I'm ready for me time, I feel like I'm walking into a spa oasis. I was really looking for a relaxation reboost, that feeling that you get when you go to the spa, and I knew I just wanted to take a hot shower, so lighting the candles, having the plants, the simplicity, I didn't need anything too crazy, but a really hot shower in that space just felt really luxurious. but I kept it really simple. I didn't do any crazy treatments. I just took a really nice relaxing shower in that really relaxing space. And then when I got out, I made myself a cup of tea. It's like a caffeine-free um, herbal tea. It's a fall blend that I get at Trader Joe's. And then I sat down and watched a movie. And in the fall, I like to watch like fun movies like Hocus Pocus, or I'll watch you know one of those Hallmark fall movies to get me in the spirit. Or sometimes I'll even just watch like some of my favorite shows, Friends or Full House or something, relaxing and peaceful. And then I went to sleep, and that is my idea of a relaxing night. I get asked a lot if I ever feel anxious or overwhelmed, and I think that's a human feeling that we all experience. And for me, carving that time out, even if it just means preparing to have a relaxing experience in my own shower, just means planning ahead and creating a space that feels relaxing for me. So hopefully this video inspired you to create that space in any room that you want to relax in. And thanks so much for watching my channel. See you guys in the next video.